Alright, so I'm going to start with Mod Podge. And what I'm going to do to create some collage here. I'm going to use this. This is a really good uh, mat matte uh, product. I guess a lot of people that create art know it. So I'm going to use. I'm going to use my brush for this and uh, just kind of start with the back up. If this one goes on top, I do want to kind of set them. I'm going to put this guy on the side here. And here is the cutoff. I don't know if you can see, but it's the cutoff thing. So let's start with the mountain and the trees. see um, there will be also some other things coming up uh, we'll start with two books uh, that I'm going to be reading for you guys uh, for anybody who's interested in kind of the different themes that were really touching and the great a awakening um, kind of mythos philosophical myth and uh, and uh, influences inspirations one is called the candle of vision uh, the world of imagination and uh, the other one is called it's it's one I found I think at Barnes and Nobles and I don't go there much but I did uh, and I think it's called something about a ninja, the path of the ninja. And I really, I took it up because I liked the symbol of the book. Uh, kind of, it, it was kind of grayish with uh, silver, and I liked it. And I started reading this, and it really reminded me of my dreaming of what I'm writing, or or I had written um, in Gray Angel Awakening. And so, I bought the book because it had some cool, beautiful Japanese um, cartoonish designs, but also some symbolism, so I thought that would be good. And then I just uh, thought it was a, a good book for young people, maybe, that are or people that are uh, just, uh, you know, trying to understand more of what ninja's philosophy and practices are. There's my forest and uh, mountain. And now we're going to put the actual image of the human here. And uh, make him or her a gray angel. And uh, so I have those two books that I'm going to read. And uh, that's coming up soon. We're going to continue to do. I might do some larger paintings uh, with my photos and people I know, Grays I know, uh, but uh, that will be kind of, I will do videos about it. I don't know if I'll do this space type deal because this is so much harder when you have a really big piece of board or, or canvas. Alright, so let's see mister, where do you go? Oh look, he's already getting gray, he's already messy in the middle here where we're going to do the the actual gray so that's funny and this is going to be a, a female gray I think I mean the part of the gray is going to be female there there we go you know there is another image um, that might go underneath this circle I circled his head because there's going to be a brain in his chest or hers and then there is an image there that um, is a heart and I have this little one it's kind of a cartoonish image as you can see I don't know if you can see it but there and um, I don't know if I wanted it on top of the underneath the hole in the head and I think I might try underneath before this thing completely to lose. As long 
as you can tell, you can see the heart, I think that's really the purpose. I guess I want you to see that it's a head as well. Um, so So that's a heart. Very nicely there. Now, next is that brain that I was talking about. Left and right, it says here. Gosh, I'm losing my little. This is um kind of the frame we're gonna use. Um, this is the frame. Kind of lines, different colored lines. I want. I always want a modern sleek look as well. I don't just want the antiquities or the different uh, ancient symbolisms that we always use in gray, but I also want a very modern approach. Um, here we go. We might use something around this brain just to make it pop out when we do the encaustic pen. By the way, I should get that encaustic pen going anyway. here is a skeleton and I think this is a perfect place for it because it's still very light and um, you can see it through the jacket so I'm just going to do it here see how that works out kind of, you don't want to make too much bubbles right so I'm just gonna kind of, I'm sorry, here we go, cut this face in half and start later with the project on the gray side, which I'm thinking is this one, and we're make, gonna make this a female. Anyway, that's kind of how it's looking. Uh, we still have some things to do, and uh, I think we'll do it, we'll do the cell phone. I already kind of cut a little Barbie uh, phone. It's from a magazine. It's kind of an, it's an iPhone. And I think this will be part of the chest of the man here. So, a little bit. some other encaustic and project over here. Um, anyway. So. There is um, another company I work with when I do projects are called, and I know I've 
some of the crafters and people that do different things work with it. Jim Holtz, Jim Holtz. Um, this one's called Ideology, uh, Sprocket Gears and Green Edges, uh, uh, different things that, that you can use in different crafts and art projects. I think I'm going to use two of them with this gray. Um, and do a little bit in his head here. And then this one right here. already pasted in there. Oh, you don't want to do too much. Why don't you put some over there? There we go. Oh, this guy. It's really cool. I like that because it's uh, industrial. Uh, reminds me of industry, uh, industrial revolution, you know, metal one of the elements, by the way, a very important one. So we have that. And then, let me put a little separator here. That looks nicer. Okay, so there we go. Now I'm going to go ahead and try doing some of the gray. Um, I got a Lumiere, Lumiere, a light body metallic acrylic. Um, and I'm going to try to put it on camera here. I also have some things that we might want to, we're going to paste at the end, which are the frames. And you know what, I have these two, maybe, this is a button, believe it or not, but not a real button. Sometimes I put real buttons or real textures, and I do have some of that, um, just because I wanted to, so I'm going to do one. This is the same button from this um, jacket that this model is using so I think it's it, it goes with the theme with the, the circles and the creation of clothing and this kind of military as you see his jacket so I'm gonna do it there and then we'll do something to make it a little rounder because I did but anyway maybe even one here I could put another button or maybe here in the body I mean in the skeleton. In the skeletal system here. Very, very telling and, and very much what I, what I do with gray, which is a button right there. That's something. It's late there. Good. Alright, so we have that. Um, again, we're going to still use Mod Podge to frame the sides with the linear kind of thing. And then for now, I'm going to use that pewter that I was talking about. And I'm trying to find, you know what, I'm going to use paper here. I think you can still see on camera. And I'm going to see how that's going to work out. There's not a lot coming out, guys. I couldn't find white acrylic, so I got Pelican drying ink, and I think this will lighten them up. I, I, I'm hoping it works together. You know, they're very different material. We'll see. We will see. If it doesn't, I'll just do it later. I'm hoping we don't need to. Let me use this guy to mix it. There we go. That's a pretty nice light. Okay. It is shiny. We need the chaos sometimes. We need not to have everything perfect, but there will be some part of the painting, some part of the picture that is very, very aesthetic, very perfect. And, um, with, I'm not going to uh, hold for this one because this is this is the first little mess. Um, this should be a, a, a darker gray. I'm going to do. 